Pop squat. Come on at you. We've got something sent in by dun, 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 Anonymous. Um, sometimes people ask not to be named, and this is one of those. Uh, it's a track from DJ Narm, <laughs> which just makes me think it's like a sound effect. Um, the track is called Grain Fields, and uh, this came out just recently, March 4th of 2023. Uh, it's got just over 1,100 views here on YouTube. And uh, let's check it out. Thanks to Anonymous for sending us in. This track is three minutes and five seconds. I did notice that there are lyrics down below here. So uh, if this is a video, we might just follow along with the video. Maybe I can copy these over quickly. Let us see. I'm sure I can now that I say that. Uh, do I have my notepad right there? Let's just paste those right in there and uh, we will go back up to the video. Let's check this out. DJ Narm with Grain Fields. It's fucking Kelly Gang Kong. Great intro. Like, what, what's going on here? What did I just do? His wife, motherfucker. The club on fire! curious about this so they're talking about the kelly gang uh, it's got to be based in australia right oops i can't type kelly gang australia ned kelly yeah i knew it was in the 1800s so the australian bush ranger outlaw gang leader and convicted police murderer one of the uh, last bush rangers uh duh, 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 duh. let's see if i can find some information here uh, he has become a symbolic figure, figure in Australian history, folklore, books, arts, and movies. As a national icon, his image was used during the opening ceremony of the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney. He is remembered in the saying, as game is Ned Kelly. The word game is, in this case, meaning brave. So there's a ton of stuff going on here that I do not know well enough, and I don't want to read through this entire entry to learn more. Uh, but is he considered like a... Is he like a Jesse James sort? Like somebody who was like a, you know, regarded as like a super cool, tough outlaw? Or did he fight back against something? That This is the thing that I just don't know. And so I, I don't understand necessarily the whole concept of this song. Ned Kelly is still a major part of Australian pop culture. His story has been told in books, movies, but uh, da, da, da. his image has been used for everything from cakes to tattoos. A recent study showed that people with Ned Kelly tattoo were eight times more likely to be murdered that's weird in 1980 cause and effect may not quite to be a line there um the australian post office released a set of postage stamps to remember the 100th anniversary of the siege of glen rowan 
in tw oh, blah, 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 a bunch of stuff that, again, there's not like just a simple, simple, simple recap of like what this guy was all about. And unfortunately, as a non-Australian person in the world, uh, I'm going to have to read this after the fact to find out more. Uh, I thought it was interesting. They mentioned a lot of things that I know are very Australian. In fact, I've, I've got a good friend down in Australia who I'm kind of curious to send this to him and see what he thinks of this song. Uh, but he talks about the Yowie, which is sort of like a, an Australian version of the Sasquatch or Bigfoot or something like that. Um, uh, and he also mentions uh, the Southern Cross, Magpie Walking, Bunyip. Magpie Walking, Stalking Bunyip. That, a Bunyip is something that I you never hear about. Like, I know of it just because it's appeared in, like, monster manuals for D&D, &D, but... Uh, or monster books for D&D, &D, but poison toad, <laughs> eating poison toads, uh, that's no good. Uh, it's an interesting song. I wish I understood the actual meaning behind all of it because I really just don't. This really does remind me of, in terms of the content of the song, uh, something like the witch house stuff that we hear from Cemetery and Haunted Bound and everybody... Uh, buckshot those those sorts of guys uh it has a similar sort of feel or 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 attitude and again lots of really good specific imagery in terms of like the burning fields hang them at the end of my driveway um a bunch of stuff like that so it's it's interesting but i wish i knew more about ned kelly himself to be able to actually get more out of this song <laughs> <laughs> the kangaroo is a nice touch <laughs> huh yeah like I said it's interesting uh, some of it I think actually sounds really good uh, thought it was mixed well I just don't know enough about Ned Kelly to really be able to understand exactly what the hell this song is supposed to be about. Um, there you go. That's that's all I can say. Thanks for sending this in, Anonymous. Hmm. Is that right? Anonymous, right? DJ Narms, yeah. Uh, it's interesting. That's all I can say. I'm going to go read this entry about Ned Kelly. I I'll maybe include a link to it in the description below so you can read about Ned Kelly too and maybe get a little bit more information and be able to process this song a little bit better because it's kind of not something I know anything about and so then I know I missed a lot about this song so pop squad <gasps> check it out please like subscribe and share thank you very 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 much I'll be back soon <laughs>